Recent research has shown that about 50% of our quail here in the rolling plains have been infested with eyeworms. And eyeworms have also been discovered in other game bird species such as grouse or pheasants. And while an eyeworm infestation may not directly cause death in a bird, it can cause enough irritation that a bird will scratch and rub at its eye. And while this may seem inconsequential, consider for a moment that a bird scratching or rubbing at its eye is not on the lookout for predators and may actually be damaging its eye. And it's true, at this time we do not know if eyeworms actually cause a decrease in survival of quail. What we do know is that quail live in a world of many threats and we want them to have the best possible chance to survive and reproduce. Okay, so I have a bird here that's been hunter shot and uh, looking for eyeworms in birds that you shoot is really quite simple. You don't need any special equipment. I have here a dissecting probe, but you could use a needle or uh, even a paper clip and a simple pair of tweezers. First, you take the bird in your hand and gently lift the eyelids, the outer eyelids, and look underneath all around the eyeball on both sides. And sometimes you'll see worms, if, you, if there are any worms in the, in the outer, under the outer eyelids, they'll be back in the corner. If you don't find any there, next you find the nictating membrane, which is located towards the front of the eye, closest to the beak. It's the third translucent eyelid that quail have. And if you can gently stick the probe underneath it and lift up, that's the most likely place to find an eyeworm. And when you do find one, like this bird has one, you can scoop it out with the probe. See there? And take a hold of it with your tweezers. There's no need to be concerned about the, about the transference of eyeworms from birds to humans because typically you're only eating the breast meat and eyeworms are only found in the eye. 